In this video, we will learn the purpose of having different units for temperature and how to convert between Celsius and Kelvin. Ryan is sweating on this hot summer day. He goes to check the thermostat to cool the hotel room down, but when he goes to read it, the temperature is measured in Kelvin. He reads 298.15 Kelvin. He's never seen this temperature unit before, but is adamant about cooling the room down. He goes through the cabinets of the room and finds a digital thermometer. The thermometer reads 25 degrees Celsius. Now, he's curious. What is the relationship between Kelvin and degrees Celsius? He goes to the freezer to take some ice cubes out. The digital thermometer has a temperature probe attachment, so he connects it and places the probe in the bowl of ice cubes. After waiting a few minutes, the digital thermometer reads 0 degrees Celsius, and with a press of a button, it converts to 273.15 Kelvin. Based on the last two temperature conversions, what do you think is the relationship between Kelvin and Celsius? Yes, the Celsius scale and the Kelvin scale have a fixed difference of 273.15 units. Let's look at the two units side by side on a thermometer. We can see that the only difference between these two scales is the zero points of the thermometer. The zero point on the Celsius scale is defined as the freezing point of water, which means there are higher and lower temperatures around it. On the other hand, the zero point on the Kelvin scale is known as absolute zero. This is the point at which the motion of particles of matter has completely stopped. Basically, it's the lowest temperature that is theoretically possible, representing the absence of thermal energy. This means that Kelvin can never be negative. What is absolute zero in degrees Celsius? That's right, with the earlier equation, we can substitute the Kelvin temperature for zero and then subtract 273.15 from both sides. This leaves us with negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. It's important to note that the spacing of temperature values in Celsius and Kelvin is the same. If you change the temperature by one degree Celsius, you also change it by one Kelvin, which allows us to have an equation that only adds 273.15. This is unlike Fahrenheit, where Celsius and Kelvin are nine-fifths the size of one degree Fahrenheit. Celsius is based on the freezing and boiling point of water. If water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, what is the boiling point in Kelvin? Kelvin equals Celsius plus 273.15, so we can replace Celsius with 100 degrees. 100 plus 273.15 is 373.15, so our final answer is 373.15 Kelvin.